everyone. We're going to talk a little bit here about uh, the value in having more than a standard mouse. And so I'm uh, really promoting as early as you can, if you're going to be working in a CAD environment, uh, getting accustomed to dealing with uh, at least a five button mouse, uh, but even more if you can. And I'll show you how that's done here with a Microsoft IntelliPoint, um, which is I've got actually a wireless one here. I won't, uh, I can't really edit in my camera here for you, but I'll, uh, it basically has got two standard buttons. It's got then the scroll button and then it's got buttons here on the left and right. So you can kind of program it to uh, have standard buttons regularly, but more importantly, you can go to a settings button here. It's going to do now. We can program it special for a specific program. So we're going to go here into AutoCAD and look how we've got this set up. Well, we've got the left button, obviously, click, makes sense. The right button, right click. The wheel button, you could do other things here, right? And what would be nice would be a nice way to be able to move that around, perhaps to, to jump a little bit left or right, but you could change that. But right now, that's still an auto, auto scroll, and you'll see later there's the settings inside of AutoCAD that control that. But that large thumb button can be shift for that quintessential shift right click, so you don't have to actually have your left hand or your right hand or whatever to do that cording. And then finally, on the small thumb button, you basically you have control. Uh, you might have shift, control, shift. You could, you could map other things for the other button. But right now, I've showed here that you can also mac macro. So I'm going to go to macro here. And in this macro, I went through and made it escape, 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 Z space, E space. And then I'm going to add on to that Z space point eight X and I think that's gonna work so we'll see how that works hit OK and it's all set up and I will now bring back and I'll just hit OK and I'll bring back AutoCAD here and I don't know if it's gonna remember what I just did but I'm gonna to try to bring back AutoCAD into it here and let's think about what this does well I can put a line from here to here to here to here and I can now do, if you remember, I'm going to grab that right here. And it did 0.8x. And I didn't hit the last space, but that would kind of zoom out and go out to 0.8x. Now, if you remember, I can hold now Shift, right click, and that's according with my mouse. So I'm just not using the keyboard at all to get the endpoint. So that realistic. So if I go here, line, now I can go Shift, right click, I immediately have the endpoint. So that keeps your right left hand or your other hand free for effectively for um, um, for drinking coffee. Uh, you'll see one of the better uses I would think would be to be turning on dynamic on and dynamic off so that setting here would be a place that I've noticed uh, the dynamic here it being able to uh, being turned on and off and I'm going to click it on and click it off. So there would be a key in there that will do that. Now we'll also look, again, we're in an older version in AutoCAD. We'll look where this stuff is actually done within AutoCAD. So I am right-clicking because, but I don't have the setup in for the right-click in AutoCAD anyway, or shift right-click as the case would be. Uh, I am going to go to Options and show you that in effect there's also a lot of options within AutoCAD per se for double clicking and system how you set up your mouse devices etc. So the beauty of getting at least a five button mouse is you have a lot of ability to control shift right click. Um, if you notice here I'm going to go bring back to now this uh, take this one out of here and finish that one up so you can see it one more time. I'm going back to the Microsoft mouse. Kind of interesting that it works right there in the middle of this. I can go now to the settings in this one per se. Go to the small macro, one I have written, Z space 0 0.8 and then space. And now when I say OK here, and I say OK here, it actually immediately does it, which is kind of neat. So when I now go right click there.
it's going to zoom out and that's kind of a useful thing so I mean, once again it's doing the escape 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 z space e space and then point 8x so it zooms me a lot a little bit farther than all the way there i'm going to now do line from i'm holding the sh holding the i'm cording basically with one hand i'm holding the one button and then the other and getting a shift right click from the midpoint here shift right click and that's not shift exactly all on the mouse so that's how you go about kind of setting up your mouse um, I'll go ahead and close this out now and then show you in effect how the settings work a little bit in another program that program called SketchUp so I'll bring that up here first we'll look at the mouse and see what we have set up here double click on the mouse and you realize for different programs we're gonna to go to our settings here and go to the SketchUp application and so a big thing you'll see in SketchUp is both the shift and the control so um, I'm going to go ahead and grab the keystroke there and I'm just going to make that one my shift. If I can find it, shift. So now I've got control and shift and I have your basics as well. Now SketchUp again has a lot of key ins and whatever that you can put in, uh, shortcuts if you would. In AutoCAD they're in the PGP file and SketchUp they're where I'll show you right here. So I'm going to hit OK, go into Google SketchUp 8. And these are the things that you do carry around from machine to machine, I guarantee you. Once you establish that you're drafting this way, it's kind of hard to untrain yourself. Just as right now, many of you are trained in the shift right click that doesn't work for everybody. Um, it's a question then of, in SketchUp, having your left hand to do something with a mouse it actually works as a double mouse program sometimes where you've got actually it's something called a space navigator on your left hand so if you noticed here I'm gonna just go ahead and draft something like this and if you remember the control key in AutoCAD in SketchUp is about so if I go to here if I go control grab if again let's see what the it was grab move hold the control key and now if I go here to here I immediately have that copy if you remember that if I don't do it I'll show you what that looks like I'm gonna grab this or for instance I'm gonna grab this and then move and then hold the control key it goes from there to there that's a copy if I don't do the control key again I'm doing it on the mouse if I just grab move it's gonna move that thing and morph it like that doing something called a shear transformation there now uh, the other thing that's kind of key in SketchUp is very often the shift key. And so what I'm going to do here is to show you as you go ahead and draft within here, and push up. And I'm grabbing across here. I'm going to right click, make it a group. Because I want to grab a face right now. So the standard in AutoCAD of let's say I'm going to rotate this around that face. It's grab, tool, face. And now I'm doing is I'm holding the shift key. I've got to hold it down it appears I hold that shift key by holding my left mouse click here and then up and you see how I rotate it up so that one probably would be better off on the other button but this sense that you can map onto your mouse your key cording which would be usually shift control and uh, perhaps alt would be the other one that would you could do on these a lot of that cording so that's how that works um, Whatever five button you mouse you get is probably fine and more mouses more buttons are better if you really need to be uh, more mouse driven. Thanks for listening.